What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how to cut a feather layered short haircut. Um, this is a, a basic haircut, but also has a little bit of trendiness to it. Uh, with the modern styles that we have uh, out there. So I think you guys are gonna like this tutorial for sure. Uh, so make sure you follow along, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're gonna get started now. So uh, the sectioning was pretty simple. You can see the breakdown of that. Now the first cut that I'm gonna do, um, my bottom finger, my middle finger, you're gonna see me elevate that up to the part line. Um, the reason I do that is I want to get a little extra elevation in this section. So anytime we're looking at hair cutting, we're looking at it from a, a horizontal line and a vertical line. Your horizontal line is going to determine the weight back and forth on the head shape. So whether it's pushing weight to the front, pushing weight to the back, uh, staying balanced, and then the vertical line is going to be how the weight is transferred either up and down. So did you layer it? Did you graduate it? Um, so uh, with this haircut, I want to layer the sides, but I also want a round shape. So I elevate the hair up a little bit higher um, to get that layered effect. And then my fingers horizontally are going to follow that parting all the way back through the head shape to create a round shape on the head. So we have a layered round shape. Now, um, I go through, I continue that round shape all the way through, start to build up a little bit of graduation in the back because the head shape in the back tends to be a little bit flatter. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to create a little bit of weight, um, in the back so that it balances out the head shape and makes it look a little more flattering. Once I get that line across the back, then I shift my finger angle to vertical or slight diagonal forward. Um, and I start still working a round shape, um, but now I'm working vertical. So this is a great technique for, especially you beginner hairdressers out there, um, or hair enthusiasts, if you are looking to uh, kind of work your brain a little bit, we started off working horizontally, really working that shape, uh, vertical and horizontal, and then uh, then we switch vertical. So it's really just twisting your mind to understand that you're really cutting things the same way, but you're focusing on uh, specifics. So right now I'm holding more of the vertical line in my hand, uh, less of the horizontal. So I have to be very careful of how I'm traveling around the head. So look at how seamless and nice that haircut looks on the right side. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left side. Uh, I want to do a quick tool breakdown. We just launched a scissor brand. Uh, if you guys haven't watched a video in a while, um, the FSE pro and elite series scissors. These are the most phenomenal scissors. I promise you that you will hold in your hands because I personally helped design them. Um, I put everything into it. Uh, we've been working on it for about a year and now we've launched it and we have the best price point in the scissor industry, in my opinion, for the most quality scissor you can have. So uh, definitely check them out on our website, freesaloneducation.com. I'm currently using the FSC Elite uh, Series, uh, Precision Elite this is a precision wet and dry cutting scissor. Uh, you can use it for both. Um, I'm using a five and a half inch scissor for this particular cut. Um, and I'm using our limited edition black series. We also have it in rose gold and we have it in silver. Um, again, those are limited edition. So if you want to check them out, go to our website, freesaloneducation.com. Uh, and you can purchase. We also have payment plans if you want those as well. Um, but this scissor ranges from about $349. Uh, and if you use the code FSE20 at checkout, you'll get 20% off that uh, purchase. And we also have some other deals going on right now. So go check it out. Um, working through the back, I go a little bit more stationary with the guideline. I'm still Actually, it's not really stationary. I'm more stationary on my vertical line, but I am traveling through and cutting round in the back. Um, building up that graduation. So we go from really layering the sides to in the back going for a more graduated feel. And like I said, I wanted to build up a little extra weight, especially in that low crown area, because it's just a little more flattering uh, when you look at the side profile of your client. Um, now, just a little cross-checking. Uh, so I pull that out. I look at the line there, and I just define the line a little bit more in the vertical because we cut everything uh, again horizontally. So we check it vertically, right? You always do the opposite to check it. Um, but you can see how clean it looks and how versatile this short haircut is. This could be a scissor cut, uh, male, female, it doesn't matter. Um, anybody that wants to rock this style could rock this style. Definitely has a little K-pop vibe to it in the end result. So, um, I think you guys, again, will get a lot of use out of this technique. Uh, now again, 
When you look at the overhead view, you see that round shape that I'm trying to create. Now, what I'm showing you guys here is that I'm going to cut a balanced um, line horizontally that's parallel to the wall. But as I do that, because the head is curved, the forehead, the hair that's at the very end is going to be longer uh, naturally because it's being over directed more than the rest of the hair. So that is a key component in this haircut. You don't want to round off the front of the haircut because you want that extra length. So when it gets combed back, you get that specific look and it doesn't just look like a big round shape on, her, on his or her head, right? So bringing it back to me, you can see that length that it pushes forward and then we go and cut it. Those of you guys that are very visual, you'll notice that I missed a piece. Um, whoops. And uh, I go back in and I cut it. But one thing, I, and the reason I left it in this video uh, for you guys to see is, first off, everyone makes mistakes. Second, um, I went back in and corrected it the exact same way that I cut it. I didn't just cut it off, right? So anytime you miss a little something, you got to go back in the haircut, dissect it a little bit, and cut it exactly where it needs to be so that you get the result you're looking for. So same thing on the opposite side, uh, again, cutting this at a more graduated feel to build up a little extra shape in that vertical line. Uh, and I just work my way through it uh, and you're still getting that over direction into the front. So coming up in the video guys, um, the, we're going to do some dry cutting and you guys are going to be blown away, uh, by the result of the techniques that we do. So, um, this is just the precision look of the cut. And then as we get into it, I'm going to show you some dry cutting now, just to soften the top and to lighten up the flip kind of back and forth on the top of the head, I go vertical just on the parting and I go through and I just cut it, define it, um, take a little bit of weight off of it. It's not doing a whole lot, but it's just softening the top edge of that haircut. So look at it flow back, guys. It's got a really nice feel to it. You could leave the haircut like this and walk away and you would have a great haircut. We're going to do some more detail work and really get into it. But look at that shape, how it pops through. And that's that graduation that we put on top of the layering that is on the sides. So already has a cool feel, but we're going to make it even cooler uh, as we work through this haircut. So stay with me here as we work through it. Uh, blow dry, just a quick little flat wrap. Um, just to get those layers laying nice. Uh, now I'm going to take out just a little bit of, uh, just create a line around the ears. And then we're going to do some scissor over comb work just to define it and take it just a little bit shorter around the ear area and around the back nape. Now I now using the FSE precision elite six and a half inch. Look at the difference between the scissor I was using, how short it is. And then when I go into my scissor over comb work, uh, for you barbers out there or people that like to do scissor over comb, look at that six and a half inch precision elite scissor. Um, you could see how much more reach you get with it. So it's just a much more enjoyable experience for scissor over comb work. Same exact handle, same exact handle size. You just get a longer blade with it. And then I switch back to the five and a half to go in and just do a little bit of point cutting. Now uh, to one of my favorite scissors uh, in our pro line, our pro series, this is the FSE Dual 20 uh, Pro. And this thing is awesome because you can flip it back and forth. It's got an even handle, um, short tang on both sides. So you can flip it when you want to cut. I like to cut blade down and do more blending work with it. So watch, I just flip it like that and then I can go through and just slide and look how as I cut down guys, it goes right through the hair, just like butter and slides through it. Um, hot knife through butter is what people like to say. Uh, but you could just see how it slides through it. It's an enjoyable experience for uh, cutting um, men's hair, short hair, long hair, anytime you want to blend. Um, but you can see I'm taking out just 20% of the hair as I do it. Uh, I slide it in kind of at an angle that helps me remove weight without creating any lines in the haircut. So I still get that same feel to the haircut, but it's just a little bit lighter weight. Again, same thing. I just flip the scissor. I have the blade down because I'm blending and I go through like that. Now, if I have blade up, teeth down, I'm texturizing. So that's one way you can think about this. Blade down, uh, blending, teeth up, texturizing. Or teeth down, texturizing. T, texturizing, blade down, blending. Uh, and that's how we go through it. 
We'll finish off a little bit of Paul Mitchell quick slip in there just to define it a little bit. Um, but this is the end result, guys. Hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this cut. There you go. Uh, and make sure you go to freesaloneducation.com. Check out all the scissors that we have to offer and the tri razor and all of that. Uh, use the code FSE20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off right away uh, your entire purchase. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.